Hey everyone, so in this video, we will continue to paint this um, particular painting that is from Varanasi. And uh, we are now using the small brush to kind of like um, help us to do some of the details as we've seen, right? So again, um, this painting right here consists of all these different kinds of small little details. But um, the main thing here is that we are using this strong color to paint the um, figure right here, right? So we have some orange, we have some yellows, and we have um, all these different kinds of, uh, you know, orange colors and light kind of colors. And um, we have all these, you know, different kinds of uh, light blues. And so I'm just trying to use that light orange to kind of like put it near to the very bright orange to kind of like have a little bit of color relation relationship. And then we can have all these you know um different kinds of uh, details around it and so this person right here is wearing this very very bright kind of uh, orange pants and of course uh, we're going to use some of those details to make sure that we have all these details that are being painted um that make up you know uh, his head all right so we are using this um, small brush to do the black color which is consists of um, his head area and uh, we can see that his the back is actually facing us so this is the back of the head and we have all these different colors like green yellow pink red and so on to paint the costumes especially the um this costume that is wearing on his left arm and so we have all these you know different things like this human figures behind and um, this is also being done when um, we paint all these light grays for the human figures. So the main thing is how we can make use of different colors to help us to um, blend and to match all these colors in a very nice way. And that is the key to um, helping uh, my viewers to see how uh, people can appreciate uh, colors and that is by placing colors of similar qualities together and linking colors that are of different qualities together by transition colors. All right, so we have some of this um, purples and so we have um, some of the darker kind of purple and um, we are using this purples and pinks um, in order to paint this, this background. And so we have all these, you know, um, different black um, shapes to represent different stuff. Like we have the arm of that man who is, you know, wearing some black things. And so we use black to do that. So I resolved all these, you know, different kinds of bright colors by adding some browns. So we have that bright orange right there, with, uh, which we have just seen. And the way to actually, you know, resolve this kind of a uh, uh, very bright color is to paint lighter and less intense colors beside the orange right so um those browns are used to make sure that there is a smooth transition between the bright orange into the rest of the surroundings so that is one way that we can plan out our colors and then we have this um yellow and so right here we have um, this yellow shape that I actually used my small brush to paint um, the yellow. And then we have all this, you know, orange and we have this red and so on and so forth. So all these colors are being grouped together because again, they are from the same zone in the color wheel. All right, so right now we have all these, you know, different colors and different shapes that will help us to make sure that we have all these um, details for the figures that are being painted. So again, you can see right now that I'm adding a lot of orange, red, and yellows, and that will actually help us to um, have all these nice um, colors that are being uh, grouped 
together and using those black lines to paint some of the details on the man. Right, so this is uh, some uh, very important concepts that um, a lot of artists actually use in order to match the right colors, right? So we have this grays that I used to paint the bottom part. And so we have um, some dark blues that are also used to paint the figure on the left. All right, so right here we have all these um, gray tones that I used to paint these human figures. And I'm using these dark tones to again paint the um, some of the details to the left. So now we are moving all the way to the left hand side and we can see a lot more figures right here. We can see a man is actually taking photo with um, helping two men to take photo, right? So this man whose back is facing us just to the left of that orange figure, he is taking the photo of two men that I'm actually painting right now with that, you know, a very strong light blue there. And I used all these strong colors you know, in order to paint uh, them. So I, I just uh, left out the expressions on the human faces because they are too small. And I just, I just used like um, very dark brown to actually depict all their faces because they are too far away and we can't really see their facial features. All right, so right now we have some of the blues. So I'm using some of the light blues to paint the umbrella on top. And then we have some of the um, black lines to also help us to separate between um, these different kinds of sections. So again, using those black lines to paint some details. All right, so using the small brush, I'm painting the um, top of the umbrella. And so we are using that small brush and we are doing all these, you know, light brown tones and we have the different kinds of browns again trying to you know match all these colors together and um, we have these um, you know different kinds of uh, grays and browns that will make up most of the details that you are seeing all right so um, again when we move towards the left you can see that um, the tones kind of like become lighter slightly and we are now using like light purples we are using like you know, light blues and light grays in order to paint those things that we see on the left hand side. And so you can see right now that the scene is actually coming alive with all these details that are being painted from the right hand side to the left hand side. And we can see that um, right now we are using that small brush in order to help us with um, painting the you know, all these small little details and small little uh, objects that we see. All right, so it's uh, very important for us to make sure that we have all these um, details, the colors actually match. So again, I added that kind of dark green um, just to the left of that blue human figure, but I actually try to match this green with some grays. And as we reach towards the top where there's purple, then we can use that, you know, dark color to kind of like connect all these different zones and different colors together and that will give us um, more um, harmony in terms of color and so right now from the dark tone I can actually branch out to the purple uh, kind of color and I'm using all these like um, bright colors like light blues and yellows again they are linked together by this gray tone which you know I'm actually using uh, within that umbrella. So within that small little umbrella, I'm using all these um, grays to connect between the, the strong colors. So I use shapes to represent all these small details as I've mentioned. So you can see that I'm actually painting shapes instead of trying to depict all these things in a very realistic way, you know, like follow exactly from the uh, photograph. But I am trying to use all these shapes so that these shapes will make up all these you know, different kinds of um, things that we see. So we can use shapes to represent like objects, like just random shapes to represent reflections of the glass, um, different small little shapes to represent those human figures and those items in the background and so on and so forth. So all these are very nice tricks 
that we can use um, in order to paint all these different kinds of details that we see. And there's no need for us to try to render the thing like exactly like a like the original photo, but using shapes and using designs and colors, that is the way to actually, you know, paint a painting rather than trying to render it 100%. So you can see I'm actually using that dark blue um, and the dark blue can connect with the dark red again because they are in the dark zone. And so um, there's immediate color relationship because of its of their darkness, dark kind of tones. Okay, so we have some of the um, small little lines that I used to paint the umbrella and just trying to finish up this part of the umbrella. And so we have all these, you know, different grays and different um, light blues. And um, we have all these different things that are coming together. And so we are trying to make sure that all these colors and all these shapes are actually um, reflecting and actually um, talking to each other. They are actually connected to each other um, by means of transition colors and also uh, because of um, being similar in the color wheel. And so we have all these greens and we have all these yellows and all these darks. Right, and so these darks are being connected again with the light, the greens, and we have, you know, um, this small little kind of strokes that I'm actually using to uh, try to paint those details, which right now we can't really see what they are. But again, as I mentioned earlier, we are using shapes to kind of like design everything. So by using shapes, we can try to, um, be able to mimic certain things that we see and doesn't matter if the viewer can't really see what they are but when they actually look at all these um, shapes all these very nice and complex shapes that we just did that can actually blend into the surroundings and it doesn't matter if it's not recognizable because it is pleasing to look at and that is what is most important when you are actually doing art right so um here we have this um red and so this red is just below, um, this represents the um, pants that this guy is wearing, this trousers, and of course on top, we have a different kind of uh, color, right? So we have this light orange for his body, and then we have, uh, of course, the same color for his arms and so on and so forth. And so um, we need to have all these patience in order to paint all these different details and make sure that the colors are actually coming together and that is how I match all these different details. So again, the main thing is how we can match strong colors by resolving them, by adding less intense colors around it and also how we can match different colors. For example, um, colors from different zones can be linked together by transition colors like grays and browns. And we can also link um, dark colors together because they are from the same zone. So there's no need for us to link them. Um, you can just put them side by side because they are already close to each other. So light colors and dark colors are close to each other, even though they are of different hues because um, when you look at this color space, they are within that small little same zone, right? So the main thing is how we can balance all these strong colors and that can be a real challenge, which we will touch on in another um, video. But these are the common ways that artists actually use to connect and to plan out all these colors. Right, so right now I'm actually using this um, brown line to draw this uh, pole that is stretching all the way to the top. So in Varanasi, they have all these different kinds of, uh, you know, um, objects and they have all these different kinds of uh, poles that stretch all the way up where they actually hang something there, um, some baskets and so on and so forth. So they use this place for um, their worship kind of purposes. And um, we are having all these details now painted very realistically. Hey everyone, it's KY Tom here. 
Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed my video, please hit the like button and comment down below. Do consider to subscribe to my channel for more art videos. Check out the links on the description below to find out more about my art and I hope to see you in the next one.